Hi, this is Scott Goldfein, Editor-in-Chief and Associate Publisher of Security Sales and Integration Magazine. And I'm so glad to have with us today, Dwayne Wareheim, Regional Vice President, Southern Sales for Napco Security Technologies. He's an expert on our topic of key home automation trends for security integrators. Dwayne, how are you? So glad to have you. I'm great. Thanks for having me. Excellent. Let's jump right in on this great topic. From your perspective, what recent developments or advancements have most reshaped the residential space for security dealers and integrators? Well, um, in my view, the changes have been significant um, and they've accelerated over the last few years dramatically. Um, alarm dealers uh, in this business, as you know, um, have uh, have gone through a lot of technological change um, in our 50, 60 years of doing this. Uh, but recently, it just has become uh, uh, difficult for a lot of the smaller dealers to compete in this marketplace. Uh, the market is is uh, is has changed so much, and it's largely due to a lot of the features and functions that have been uh, part of this evolution, uh, the things that we've become used to, and home automation is the key to that. Um, as you probably know, security is the essential component of that home automation. Most people, when they're when they're uh, interviewed and asked about it, say uh, that security is the number one most important piece. So we're in a perfect position to take advantage of it. Um, however, a lot of the change has been has been uh, has been difficult for dealers to to uh, integrate. Um, one of the biggest problems, um, technologically, it's fine. We're we're able to we're able to move in and start to. Uh, 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 put in new products with what we do as a living. But the biggest problems I think I've seen have, have been financial. It's a lot of dealers have seen a difficulty in, in competing in a marketplace that uh, essentially has changed from a, um, from a purchase up front to a, uh, uh, basically a low entry cost with an ongoing service fee. Um, if you're a big company and you've got a, a lot of money, you can afford to make that transition, but in the uh, for the smaller dealers, it's been a difficult uh, difficult move. Um, from an end user perspective, it's been awesome. Uh, they have seen uh, capability of A, being able to get an alarm system with all of the new features and functions at a far more reasonable price point. Um, but uh, from a dealer perspective, it's been more challenging, at least again from the smaller from a smaller dealer perspective. Technologically, the capabilities are amazing. We can now remotely connect to our alarm systems and not only you know see what's going on, but possibly even you know uh, turn off our alarm system, maybe make an adjustment. We can change our user codes. We can do all kinds of really cool things that before we would have had to been in our home to do. Um, in addition, we have the capability of having uh, the system send us text messages or emails or um, let us know exactly what's happening in the house. Well, these are all amazing features. Video, of course, has become a huge part of our business all across the board and uh, the capability of, for example, now when you're receiving a package to be able to keep an eye on the delivery of the package and anybody who comes to your front porch, that's become critical in this day when so much of our uh, of our con con consumer purchasing is done online and we are getting stuff at the house and um, I think that 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 whole that whole market has shifted dramatically but video overall is obviously a much bigger piece just monitoring you know critical entrances etc so I think all of these things have become key um, of course the one piece that's really kind of what we think of when we say automation which is the uh, ability to turn lights and locks and thermostats and all those things on remotely is a, is a is a big piece of it, and uh, people are starting to adopt that more and more. Um, I have seen that adoption rate to be a little bit less than I would have expected by now. I kind of expected there to be a larger percentage of the of the install base moving to that uh, that piece, and I think some dealers have, are having more success than others with that. Maybe they're promoting it more, but that's sort of what I see. Mm -hmm. And you touched on, you know, communications is such a part of that, you know, puzzle too. And there's several different, uh, you know, channels or ways to communicate with the smart home. On the cellular side of things, which I know, you know, NAPCO is really a, a leader in that area. Um, how does that tie into the smart home and what should dealers be thinking about with the cellular communications? Well, from our perspective, I think it's fairly widely uh, accepted that the cellular uh, platform is the easiest way to upgrade an alarm system. 
Um, you can literally take a cellular communicator, add it to an alarm panel, and then add these features that we were just talking about um, to virtually any alarm system out there. That capability is, is, is simpl simplifies the entire process um, as well as allows the dealer an opportunity to upgrade the customer, importantly, off of POTS lines. Um, the whole phone line situation has become so difficult over the last 20 years, um, and it's, it's, it's more difficult now um, than, it, than it's ever been. Um, you know, copper really doesn't exist. Everybody's connecting via IP. Um, that has its goods and bads, but most of the time they're difficult for alarm systems to communicate um, through IP. Um, there's no backup power on a lot of the routers and modems out there, so it makes it a very challenging piece. When you get a cellular device, now you put it right on the alarm system, so it's got backup power right from the alarm system. And now that device becomes a wholly owned communications path for that alarm system. So just from the communications perspective, cellular has, has sort of been accepted, I think, by most of the business as the best solution for communicating moving forward on alarm systems. I, I just I think that's pretty, uh, pretty, pretty uh, solid statement. Beyond that, though, um, the cellular component gives you additional capabilities because now you have the functionality of being able to remotely connect again, like we were talking just a minute ago, with the alarm system. And you can go in and you can see what's going on with your alarm. If there is a situation, you can look at it. You might be able to turn the system off, um, make some changes if necessary. Um, you can, uh, like I said, look through the video cameras at what's going on at your house. Um, I had a friend who primarily bought the video camera so that he could keep an eye on his dogs as they run around his house, you know, and make sure that how they were doing when he had to be traveling. So these, these sort of features that uh, are uh, more uh, comfort related, you know, enjoying your home kind of thing are, are real positive. But the security piece is powerful as well, being able to watch entrances and, again, watch for people coming to your home and looking at stuff on your front porch, etc. Um, the actual home automation piece, again, um, the ability to do the lights, locks, and thermostats has become incredibly powerful, not only because we can do these things one by one, but because we have the ability to do them all together. So now I can hit a button on my cell phone and I can walk up to my house and it's got lights are already on, I, the alarm's turned off, uh, my thermostat was turned up as I, as when I hit the button, um, all of these things happening at one time. And, and that's really nice. And then you can also do it the other way, which is event related. So I walk into my house, I turn off my alarm system. Now all of a sudden my lights come on, my thermostats go off. So you can do this in all these different ways, which are um, incredibly powerful. And I think uh, a very, very uh, uh, great upgrade path for our customers. Uh, that's my idea anyway. Yeah, it's such an exciting world of uh, benefits for the user and opportunities for the dealer. Could you talk to us a little bit about some of the specific uh, solutions that NAPCO brings to help dealers succeed and also the support behind that? Oh, sure, sure, of course. Um, the uh, uh, NAPCO has what I would consider to be two primary solutions that we, that we offer. Um, our Starlink Connect product line, which is a cellular radio, um, gives you the ability to be able to connect to uh, any NAPCO panel, of course, um, any alarm panel out there for communication purposes, uh, but if you, for this remote upgrade, a remote services upgrade path we were talking about, you can connect to a Honeywell Vista, a DSC Power Series panel, or a Napco Gemini panel, and you can put this radio onto the system, and then you can offer the customer just straight communications if that's all they're looking for. Um, remote arm disarm capability. We have a very basic feature, which just is a button, which turns allow, allows you to turn the system off and on. Or you can go to a virtual keypad, which is far more powerful. Now I have an actual keypad on my phone that matches what I have in my home. It looks exactly the same, so I know how to use it. I know how to change user codes. I know how to take things out and put things in. And um, So anything I can do at my home, I can do through my, through my app on my phone. Um, customized messaging is, is a very powerful piece of this, which is built into the Starlink Connect radio. Um, I can actually get not only messages saying that I have an alarm at my home and maybe which zone it is, I can customize it to say it's my front door, my back door, my, my den, 
um, maybe it's Johnny's bedroom. And all, all these kind of details can be in the message. So I know exactly what's going on when I get that message, um, which can be very, very uh, uh, helpful. Um, and then, of course, you know, we have the video piece, the remote, remote video services and the Z-Wave uh, home automation control, which, you know, like I said just previously, these are all integrated into that Starlink Connect platform and can be added to any of those Honeywell DSC or NAPCO platforms merely by connecting the, the radio to it and doing a little bit of, uh, of integration. Um, one of the things that we like to highlight as well, it's not really a, a benefit to the end user, it's more of a benefit to the dealer is that in each of these integrations, we offer also full upload download capability through the native software. So for example, if you're a Honeywell dealer using a Vista panel, you can connect to the, your, uh, uh, your system using our Starlink Connect radio with the Honeywell Compass software or the DSC DLS software. Of course, the NAPCO Gemini uh, you can connect to through our quick loader software as well. Um, we like to, I, 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 uh, I like to highlight as well that uh, you know, our virtual keypad is so, is so good and so accurate that you could actually keypad program a Honeywell Vista panel through our virtual keypad app. So it's, 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 a, really, uh, it's a really powerful system, that Starlink Connect. But probably what's most interesting and most exci exciting to our, our customers and many of the people that we met at ISC uh, uh, recently is um, our new iSecure platform. I mean, that product line is going to be a uh, rock star. I think we won the award for MVP award out at ISC West. Um, it is a self-contained product line uh, that allows you the ability to uh, put it, uh, it's two pieces now. And a lot of we, people think self-contained, they think one piece. So uh, everything's all in one piece. We took and separated it out because we like the idea of putting the alarm panel someplace out of the way, maybe in a closet somewhere, in a basement, in a utility room. And you can put the basically put the panel anywhere, plugs into the wall, fully wireless functionality, and um, then you can put the keypad by the front door. We're going to offer three different systems. Uh, we have a basic system with a basic wireless keypad, and um, then we have a, a small touch screen, and then we have a larger touch screen. And the price points are just, you know, very inexpensive because what NAPCO has been doing for the last few years is we have been um, helping the dealer. As I mentioned in, my, in the first piece there, my first answer when it came to what's going on, the financial piece of it, um, alarm dealers are having trouble because the pricing is, is they're spending you know, hundreds of dollars putting these systems in and they're not getting that when they get when they put these systems in. So NAPCO has supplementing that with, the, with our radio uh, product because the Starlink radio is of course built into the platform. So um, when you buy the panel, um, we're going to sell it to you at an inexpensive price, but we're actually giving a hundred dollar rebate as part of our program. So, for example, um, the basic wireless keypad product, which is battery powered, put it on the wall. It's one hundred and seventy nine dollars, but you submit for the rebate, you get one hundred dollars back, making it seventy nine dollars. Um, same thing's true with our with a small touch screen. It comes in about ninety nine net, and then the larger touch screen is one ninety nine. This is half of what they're paying now for similar types of product lines. Very, very uh, uh, affordable and makes it much easier to get in the door and make these adjustments. Even our Starlink Connect radio that I spoke of initially with that $100 rebate piece applies. So when you're trying to now walk into an, it, just say you're going into an existing customer. You've had this customer for 10 years. All of a sudden now the phone lines aren't working. And you're going to have to go in there and spend a couple hundred dollars worth of you know, your labor and equipment, putting products in. And these customers, I didn't do anything. Now you're going to all of a sudden have to charge me extra money. So NAPCO's allowing that hundred dollar rebate program really makes it so much easier for the dealer to go into those, those jobs, into those customers and say, hey, look, I can put this in at a very affordable piece. It's something you need to have. And it helps you and it helps us. And look at all the cool things you can do with it as well. Look at, you can do the virtual keypad, you can do the video, you can do the Z-Wave automation control, we can send messages to your house. You know, all these things are integrated and it really makes it so much nicer. Um, one thing that I, I also uh, like is we recently introduced a um, uh, touch screen as well. Um, I, I, uh, this touch screen is the same one that's gonna be in the iSecure, the larger touch screen that product actually can be added in and provide that 
full integrated uh, either keypad or full um, automation platform on, again, the Honeywell DSC or NAPCO panels, and you can put them up on the wall. So by putting the Starlink Connect on, you're not only giving them a communications upgrade option and a remote services upgrade option, you're also giving them a keypad upgrade option with a very affordable touchscreen coming in under $200. So, so we're excited about this iSecure product line. It gives uh, our dealers, obviously, uh, an option to, uh, to uh, upgrade the existing NAPCO customers up there with a NAPCO product line. Um, and, uh, you know, it is something that, that uh, the industry has seen, I think, as a, as a, uh, as a really uh, exciting uh, new entry into the marketplace. Um, so, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to, uh, to uh, selling it out there and getting people, getting in people's hands and having a chance to play with it.